in this video I'm going to show you how to convert this ribbon into an SVG file. This was a request from a viewer from Facebook and um, you don't really need an SVG file to import this into Design Space and cut it as layers. Uh, you could import it three different times and remove each of the colors using the magic wand tool but I prefer to work with SVG files just because they're easier and then I can share the files with other people and so forth and so I'm going to show you how to create an SVG file and before I do that I want to zoom in and show you something you can see this is a fairly low resolution file and there's some pixelization and some rough edges here and I'll show you how we're going to address that in Inkscape as well so we'll start by importing the uh, or opening the file and I'm just going to drag and drop it from my desktop into Inkscape and choose embed you can also just go to file and open to open the file as well and now with the image selected we're going to go to path trace bitmap and one of the things I like to do uh, to start with is to just count the number of colors and this one we have three colors to begin with in our image so we set our scans to three the smooth option will turn on and that will help us get rid of those little rough edges I showed you. We'll leave stack scans on and we'll also remove the background and if we click update we'll get a preview of the image and you notice we lost the blue when we did our preview so we will increment the number of scans uh, by one and click it again and you see that our image in the preview window looks correct now. So basically I count the number of colors and start the number of scans at that number. So if it's a six color uh, logo or an image, I'll start with six. If something is missing, uh, then I'll increment it by one and keep doing it until I have all the colors and the preview looks proper. So now I'm going to click OK and you'll see this happens very quickly and stop when active and then went back to OK again and it's already scanned our image. So now if we drag off the one on top, we'll see that as our vector. We can see through the little hole there is transparent. And now we can get rid of our original image and just delete it. And now with the image selected, we want to go to Object, Ungroup. And then if we click off of our object and then click back on it, we can drag off those layers. So basically we can get rid of the blue and the pink layer because what we're really looking for is the coloring book type image this frame we're going to work with and so now we're going to fill this with the pink and blue so we'll do the pink first and we want to deselect everything so that we can click on our paint bucket and we'll select a pink and I'll fill those three areas now if you'll notice that when we zoom in you'll see little gaps in there around the edges and those will not matter and you'll see why in a minute when we finish our base layer for our background and when I click the selection area tool you'll see that these are separate objects now so now I'm going to hold down my shift key I'm going to select all three of those pink objects and I'm going to path and combine next we'll go find a blue and we'll click off of everything, go back to our paint bucket and we'll select a light blue color and fill that part and again that's a separate object as well now we want to move these out of the way and now we're going to select our ribbon and we're going to go to path break apart one of the tricky things with this image is that we have a cutout in the center and now we're missing that cutout so I'm going to show you the easiest way to get around that so I'm going to click off of the object and I'm going to drag that out to the side and now we're going to select all of those objects again and go path union this object we need to be able to see temporarily so we're going to change the color and we'll make it a light gray by just selecting it and selecting that color and then we'll move these other pieces back into place and just kind of eyeball them and now we can move that part back into place and we can zoom in to see if we're pretty accurate and it looks like I have it lined up pretty well so now I'm going to move the blue and the pink away again we'll select both of those objects and we'll click path and difference and now we have our cutout then we'll move these back into place again
we'll select all go object and group now we'll save this as a plain SVG file and now we'll upload the image choosing vector upload as you can see our preview looks good we'll save it and insert it into our project and there's our image and our three layers as we would expect if you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash troyyoung to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.